multi-streaming let me know if it is working if you're still around Caspian let's see okay good it's working on Twitter it's working on Twitch and it's working on Instagram even though I have no fucking followers and Facebook I think even though I, uh, I never use Facebook but who gives a shit let's see because I'm a professional I'm an industry professional I'm professional pro gamers oh it is but it's saying confessions of Jacob Suckness, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh well. People can... It better not be saying that on t the ones that matter, which are Twitter, Twitch. On Twitch it's saying international oh yeah that, that was back when I was doing that's be interviewed by Scott Sullivan from Fish Tank I uh, better um, change that on my uh, yeah I'm very new to the multi streaming um, create a dashboard twitch matters uh, I won't bother correcting it on Facebook uh, edit copy and paste it from YouTube hey Caspian multi stream is it working multiverse stream <laughs> wait it better not be fucking finished already. I've got way too many fucking things open. I'll call Bloodborne. I wasn't. Okay. Well. The good news. Am I still alive? The good news is. Ready. I've got way too many fucking things. It's, it's working. Oh, Bloodborne, I wasn't. Yep. It's just a video game. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a pro game, a streamer. Don't you see my um setup? I'm, I'm absolutely not subversive in any level. Um, all right. I'm just changing it in on Twitch as far as I, I'm on Instagram too but I can't be bothered looking and yeah I'm, I'm in a good mood let's see copy you over to Twitch my Bloodborne it's been difficult not to play while people are doing well um you know but I decided to do an entire playthrough with this it's very okay those tags I don't care yes I'm playing on Chinese servers of Narca Blade Point okay Alright, there we go. Seems working now. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Right now, when everything works, my... Come on. PlayStation. Don't fuck me on this. Okay, there we go. All right, 
right now I should be able to get started and then the next time I do this I should not have so many issues welcome to another Interstellar analysis fever dream stream this time open source intelligence stream depending on who jumps in I have some interesting information that I have that I think people will find interesting involving a very enigmatic individual yeah I mean I uh, thank you I, I've only got I don't have a social media empire yet I'm building one though to create an army of 14 year olds with AK-47s that are going to take over after being brainwashed by me to serve the sinister dialectic G-U-R-U-9 I can't help it. it it is a very funny statement I hope homework sucks shows up because I have something to talk to about with him So, I'm not sure if I am getting the comments from everywhere. And on, does anybody know how to? Oh no, it's working on Twitter at least. Um, I'll get rid of the Jacob Sockness live stream. Uh, sorry, Jacob Sockness. Okay. Uh, if someone come, Caspian C, if you're still there, if you comment on Twitter. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult process because I'm having to do all this and stream it from my computer streaming from the PS5 remote playing it because this is the only way to do it and then window capturing it, it's, it's a difficult process and my computer doesn't seem to be so what I'll do is Oh, does this work? Intermission. Thank you, Caspian. Is it saying starting? Or be right back? Thank you. Caspian, thank you. Alright, now I know that it works from. Twitter. I just gotta work out how to do this without it uh, completely crashing my computer. Come on, you can do this. <laughs> All right, I've seen. I'm gonna have to. have chat only and not show anything else because it's going to fuck things up and make things slow go away all I want is the multi-stream chat I do like the readout feature that PlayStation had that was fun Yeah, yeah, I was testing that out. Thank you. Now I know how that works. Because I, I want to make this look as, as professional as possible. Because, you know, serve the sinister dialectic but, and radicalize them. Alright, there we go. Drag you across.
Okay. Should be working now. It's not multi, it's not OBS. Yeah, this is um, Streamlabs. Right, it's because I'm having to actually send the PlayStation's screen to my computer screen and then capture the display. Uh, what I'm going to do is, it's m my computer's the problem. So I'm going to turn down the fucking resolution a little bit on this display. Streamlabs is essentially OBS, but oh shit, I don't want to hit the doll. More for people like me who can't be bothered. Working things out. Uh, <laughs> shit. I will have to edit that out. Not that it matters that much. Fucking display capture. Okay, it's it, it seems to be running smoothly now, so I will commence. We Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? Over time, countless hunters. Very well. Pure arcane. Pure insight. I am. Um, Farewell, may. <coughs> I have something I worked on last year that I need to start actually doing properly. It's just. It involves David Byatt. Essentially, David Myatt and I remained in correspondence after the interview. For purely professional reasons. Where he answered a lot of questions on certain things for me over a long period of time. Before certain circumstances which I can't go into. And I have never, I've read elements of this to people, but never actually gone into it. It's very personal to David Meyer to myself. I'm not sure how interesting it will be to individuals that ha don't care about, in particular, Combat 18, which is the a mutual... David Meyer was kind enough to explain the entire situation and history of Combat 18 for me after my interview. What's that noise mean? New follower, thank you. I uh, appreciate it. And someone likes my notes too. I'm ha everybody. Alright, time to kill the blood Welcome stuff, what is beast, it? whatever it's called, well, that poisons you constantly. So I need another couple hundred. Very well. No, no, leave it. Let Some people actually do want me to do a proper occult analysis of this game, which I will do in the future because streaming is fun but everything always goes towards my work in other areas specifically the LNA, spook intelligence stuff military shit, Afghanistan related stuff which has been my 
bread and butter for a very long time. However, this game does have very interesting occult elements. Caspian, I do appreciate you doing me a favor on a mutual friend. Shout out to Jake Hanrahan. My my hero, my 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 inspiration, my greatest love in life. Everyone follow Jake Hanrahan. This game was created by Hidetaka Miyazaki by himself as he wants to restart the... Hidetaka Miyazaki is a firm believer in Tojo's racial p policy of proper Japan where they were essentially a they believe they were the master race as did the Nazis and and you know Hidetaka Miyazaki is absolutely <laughs> is Hanrahan <laughs> oh, if only Hanrahan will jump in I don't think he'll ever talk to me again because he refuses to acknowledge my existence Though we did communicate, however, I did offer to explain to him everything. Not giving away people's names or... but just the most basic shit. Which, in a, like a Zoom conversation, which I know he would exploit the fuck out of, I don't care. I'll do it anyway. He can make me look like a... fucking Nazi, I don't care. But he refused. Should we kill? <laughs> Problem is, is anything that involve well, Hanrahan baits himself. He's very easy to bait, but. If he sees me playing a video game, naturally he's going to... Because he spies on my accounts. Because he follows... As soon as I, I follow... Or used to follow, he probably doesn't anymore. He probably just spooks on the accounts that I block. Because they're pedophiles. But And I don't want... And, um, yeah... Whoops. Shinrikyo, we need to make it... I do want him to accuse Hidetaka Miyazaki of being a fa a, um, a fascist, uh, you know. Oh, speaking of the sinister, I better use my sinister bell to get... If I kill people in this game, I get insight. And insight is very useful. In the context of this game. Ah. Uh, PvP and, and co-op in this game is very strange. You essentially... A woman shows up and she rings a bell. You have to be in proximity to the bell. I want to kill you. You fucking opfer. And take your insight. So I can then go insane. Yes. Which in... I'm, I'm just making a parody of, of the horrible, slanderous allegations 
upon me having any association with a certain occult organization that I I am I will not mention. But yeah, this game is based around getting insight. It's not a Bram Stoker Dracula deal like it looks. It's a cosmic horror game. And it's very Lovecraftian. If it any anybody here read a lovely book by a philosopher called Naus, a practical guide to well, it, it, there's certain aeons. My copy is from uh, I highly recommend this book. It's it's a philosophical trustee. This is a essentially a re a um, very cheap print of the nineteen. 89 edition. <laughs> uh, no. Alright, copyright, yeah, 1989. This is the same, this is just a physical copy of the PDF Naos that I reference a lot. This is back in a day where they had a limited copy that they would actually typewrite themselves to about a hundred and something people and you'd have to fill in the correspondences yourself so they would type it up and mail it to you back in the day on a typewriter and then you have to I'm pretty I'm not sure if they did it themselves or if the recipient um, get the one that I mean the, if it has, if it looks like it's on a typewriter and it says copyright 1989, that that's and, and and it, I mean fuck it, I can probably just drag it onto the screen and show you. Australia, Ace, no, um, A Asia. I'm in no way proliferating any form of you know before I do so I better make sure this does in no way show my fucking I'll open it fuck off acrobat no, no okay that's that's fine I can drag you here this is the cop this is a um 50 megabyte copy that I use of now, s let me know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah, the fi and um, this is what I'm talking about. This one is is 100% my co contacts approved. This is back when you actually had to e either uh, I should actually ask them people involved in this back in the day if they drew in the correspondences with pen before mailing them or if the individual that was given this has to draw them in like when you go to the star game which as you can see this makes it a lot easier, actually, for me to do this, doing this on computer. Um, yeah, there's David Mayat's Star Game. Somebody, this is... This copy's good, actually. This... Does yours have this Caspian Sea, where they actually put in... The... Because there's like six, seven versions of this. This is the best one. About 148 pages, 48 megabytes. But yeah, like when you go into this, is what things should be like 
now we should be making books and hand they actually imagine hand typewriting out and then drawing in the correspondences before you mail them to a select group of people with limited distribution for no money well not no you know just essentially for the um this is just from a fucking binder it's not even a book you want to hear a funny story I have to say that this in a way because uh, I was I decided to I was pissed off I couldn't get a physical copy of Hostia that I had to give my Chloe Hostia edition away because it's not mine back to the person who I borrowed it from and I am greatly greatly appreciative of that individual allowed me to borrow Hostia I for that long. So I decided, okay, well, I, I can't get a physical copy. How about I use Kindle Direct Publishing to just copy and paste my Hostia copy, which is in three parts from 1992, and just make a fucking book of the original Hostier um, publication no editing just putting all three together and then I can get a physical copy of Hostier without having to go to Officeworks in Australia and print this out so my um, 100% Anton Long approved Hostia well I've been banned S not me I should say somebody all I wanted was to buy one physical copy of this so I could own it because you can get this and um, yeah annoyingly that got me banned permanently from publishing on Kindle. Not for copyright reasons. It, I was actually just doing it purely so I could get a physical copy for myself. And yeah, it's because they, they uh, for some reason, flagged it. The annoying thing is, I was actually going to just get a print copy, a, a tester copy, at my expense, printed, and sent to me. And I could have a physical copy of the original publication of Fostia. I would have still gotten banned, but I would have at least gotten what I wanted. But, you know... It, it's annoying. You can't delete, I didn't realize, it as soon as you try and get it reviewed for publishing. It's... So, yeah. I might try it again under a proxy account and then I can just get a physical copy because I don't want and then that will get banned and yeah it's useful having physical copies of these books but like in Naos the this game is all about taking things into a different Aeon Na Naos has the gal it, uh, which I find interesting, and then I'll play the game. The... In Aeonix. The... the... Progression of Aeons is very interesting to me. Um, as it goes beyond the... Thelemic 
crawl a you know Aeon of Horus and then after Aeon of Matt. Everything is To be honest, Naos is an amazing foundation for anybody interested in magic because it gives you an outline of how to... you don't have to do it exactly as Naos puts it, but it gives a great outline of magical philosophy and practical magical advice. And they don't mystify things. There's very little mystification, as they put it. It's it's just incredibly straight. And what is sad about the current state of the ONA is the labyrinthos mythologica stuff of playing games and f messing with people too much and putting too many too, too much uh, there we go Aeonix here uh, so there's the Western then there's the Galactic Aeon and then beyond David Meyer at Stargame is the Cosmic Aeon earliest copy of Naos I know that exists is from the 70s which I'm sure and similar to um, e emanations of a word I will never be able to pronounce, probably U Urania or something. It's it shows that the ONA actually existed as far back as the late 70s. Beyond that is anybody's guess. I have no belief that it was started by a woman who immigrated to Australia as Wikipedia schizophrenically posts. I'm trying to get somebody to help me out. An actual human being, but this game is very old and... Though there's still people playing. Nothing but Cosmos here. There's somebody. Come on. Use your bell. Use your bell, motherfuckers. Look, look, I'm a pretty uh, girl, don't you want... Alhamdulillah. That's someone Lincoln. Oh, etiquette, etiquette. Actually, I'll summon Alfred too because I think it furthers his crest line and or gives me a gesture. This is back in the days where you literally. communicated mostly through gestures rather than actual voice chat which I really enjoyed but uh, I hate this thing um let's see how do I not embarrass myself horribly
Oh shit. Whoops. Jeez. I've forgotten how to fucking play the game all of a sudden. There we go. Fuck, wrong weapon. I can't lose that insight I used to summon these fucking people. I do make it a bit easy with Arcane. Because I, I just fucking flamethrower these things. Do ridiculous damage, slow poisoning, and dodge. Lot of it. No, you don't, you fucking burn. There we go. I'm sorry, homework sucks. If you ever, if you watch this, thank you, Shizaku. Um, I know you spent a month trying to kill this thing, and you gave up, and then, but. Yeah. I, I've spent way too much time playing these. A novel way to come off horrendous morphine addiction, so. I do recommend playing something like this if you decide to quit opiates because this shit does help with withdrawal symptoms significantly. Confederates, roots of man's impurity, the League has assumed the task of finding. So there's different factions and different um, covenants. Good to see that people still play this game. Most likely, all of them are going to be in Asia, but. Okay. Chalice dungeons are unlocked. And yeah, I'm sorry to Jacob Sarkness. Wait, hold on a second. I'm sorry, my fucking chat is is shit. It's not showing everything. I apologize if I've been ignoring people. My chat is Yeah, all right, so Baron unknown fucking chat on the multi-stream was fucking up. Maybe all those long named dark gods are just different names for Cthulhu. Yeah, I, I mean, wh whomever wrote Naos Yeah, no, no, I'm not blaming chat. <laughs> I'm blaming my, mul my streaming software. Thank you though. Now I can see I'm going back. I, I, I've i missed all of this. All of this chat. Abide by community guidelines. I do. I do. Alright, Malta Gilman. Speaking of... Uh, Atazoth is actually just Azagoth, Azathoth with changed letters. Yep. Saying the extent reality at the same time. Use your bell, motherfuckers. I am a pretty girl, yeah. Playing chat. There's dark gods in Naos. Summon the Elder Ubermensch. Let's read some band Lovecrafty Mythos. I mean, 
Yeah, why'd they ban me? All I did was try and publish. I mean, sorry, not me. All, all a avatar of me under my real name did. Somebody who stole my computer under my real name tried to publish Hostia in every country for no money. Not as a PDF, original Hostia, all three. In one book as cheaply as possible so essentially it's just the print cost I'm pa you'd be paying for for the book and I thought that's a good way not I somebody who stole my computer thought that's a good way to put it out there w change nothing and yeah but Amazon, Amazon decided not to let me do that. I mean, let the person who stole my computer do that, and I'm permanently banned from publishing. Sorry, my lady. Um. Oh, I've got the. I can look at what German's reading. Now, now that I have a monocle. Yeah. Well. I'll find a way to do it. Okay, now we can see what books this guy, this this master craftsman, who is living in a dream world created with elder gods to make his sex doll alive, which is also an elder god. His sex doll is a real sex doll, which is in the game based on a real person whom is buried where the sex doll is standing but she's not a sex doll she's actually more like Babylon from Crawley Thelema anyway let's see what he's reading what are you reading there German how to what does it say it is legitimately funny he is the Hidetaka Miyazaki knows his audience. Oh, there it is. Fuck you, game. F f what does it say there? What does it say? H how to pick up fair maidens is what it says. Something like that. Th well, Jacob Sarkness, uh, uh, I like that his books got he publishes own magical books can you say you've done that the healing church and the blood ministers who belong to it were once guardians of the hunters in the times of the hunter Ludwig they worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Thank but you for following me. Most me. ministers don't recall the hunters. See. But they what? have much Blame. to offer you. And so, heed the message of your forebears. Ascend to Erden. So yeah, yeah, s s multi-stream chat is a piece of shit and doesn't work. Chat is good though. Um, Jacob, so you, you know, he made a golem. J Socrates made a golem. I can look. He did a he did something pretty fucking cool. He actually stole. I assume from he did a Jeffrey Dahmer and stole a mannequin from a store. But not for necrophilic reasons, but to make a giant voodoo doll. I'm impressed with it too. That's why I fucking interviewed the guy way back. Because he actually, you know... The... Tell thine mate and her breath... <laughs> Yeah, 
That's probably a quote. Put user on time, man. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we know. We're gonna go and find his sex doll in real life. From. Welcome home. What is it? Over time. Yeah, yeah. you're standing at your own grave of the woman the you're based on. Your you. Strength. Let me stand close. I will give myself to you fully, Babylon. Okay, now I can do the chalice dungeons. I'll work out a way to... I'm in a fever dream at the moment, which is, you know... The perfect time to... Play and stream but yeah this I'll be able to make this work every people I've got a I'm making an empire a digital empire a a a gateway of sorts you can call it And this gate, I'm just a, a, a gate to a far no I'm making a social media empire because it has to be done I have orders Promote Dear Bandi No, um The social media companies are disgusting But I will utilize them To my means If I can Because, you know Ah, oh, the hunter Alive and well are This here is a safe place Stay as long as you like I will work out how to perfect this. Remember what I asked. If you find any sane survivors, tell them to seek shelter at Erden Chapel. Because there's nothing to fear here. <laughs> okay, that's what it is. The ultimate is this is dialectic. Do you want to play the game? Lemmy's voice. I'm going to pick up Hartus' book from the 2000s. Teaches scared boys to be mean to women for sex. Treat her like dirt. She'll stick to you like mud type bullshit. Oh, okay. Well... I know I shouldn't be asking you. If you happen upon someone while... If they seem worth being told, that is. Oh. It depends if they're into S&M or not. But yet you have to... Oh good, the gateway to there is opened. I need to talk to a woman that kills other hunters when they go insane. Oh, my insight level is high enough to get kidnapped and taken somewhere. I'm not ready though. Leave me alone. Fuck. Fuck off. Tate approved. I I don't know anything about uh, Tate. I don't follow other people, really. Oh no, I'm so. When it comes. Oh. I follow it. 
All I know about him is he's pissed people off. I don't know why, and I haven't looked into it because... I don't know, he doesn't seem like somebody I would find particularly interesting, but I could be wrong. If he promotes testosterone replacement therapy, um, then I'm I'm pro him because well no I'm pro that is he one of those guys like uh, to men uh, need to be men we're all f getting fucked up by plastics and soy and other shit and we need to inject testosterone because they're all suppressed which is actually true um... I think he is wrongfully targeted he's a puppet oh okay one of the... Uh, so he's an agent provocateur you see I'm not in with it I, s uh, I, I only find out he's a puppet social media See, this, I, this is why I don't engage in politics. I'm gonna say something absolutely shocking to my audience. I kind of am a feminist to some degree. Don't worry. Not in the way that is well. I'll keep my opinions to myself. Yeah, the majority of old media figures are agent provocateurs. An agent provocateur is somebody is a Jake Hanrahan type, somebody they put in place in order to create alternatives or to cause a division to distract people the citizens of control love to distract you from shit by making people argue over shit that has nothing to do with anything that actually matters in the grand scheme of, of, of reality you can say that this video game right well that's a fucking distraction Yes, they are distractions, the majority of them are. Call of Duty, things like that, Fortnite. However, there's... You can do subversive shit with these mediums without funding them. And that's what I try and do. Is utilize things. Now, now Hidetaka Miyazaki and his... So Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Demon Souls and of Elden Ring and all the other From Software games S since he took over after murdering everybody else in From Software in a uh, to create Demon Souls he essentially hid important life lessons in these games in a very subversive way it's all based on cycles it's all based on multiple different uh, uh, author authoritarian groups that are meant to be good and all this fucking you around the story seems non-existent however it's incredibly deep through Force, uh, forces you into abstract reasoning when you get enough insight you'll start seeing giant Lovecraftian spiders all over these buildings the amygdala which they're called the amygdala because they're literally based upon the amygdala reptilian complex of at the brain stem and the heads of these creatures that when I am initiated highly enough in the higher mysteries of making myself go insane 
but utilizing becoming a external adept by using NAS and Hostia. Um, the game's forcing you to utilize reptilian complex of your brain, resource gathering, things like that. Hidetaka Miyazaki is a fucking genius. That's why I'm trying to bait Hanrahan into thinking that he is exactly what he is. Subversive, but I just want to see him accuse him of being associated with neo-Nazis and stuff. It'd be, f it'd be funny to me. Um, Andrew, 100% a polarizing to the message type. Yeah. Then, then why, why uh, promoted working out, not being a simp, made millions from the simp audience he targets. I wonder if me to Ghibli's Miyazaki's. I have no idea. Uh, Miyazaki is like me in the sense that he is a enigmatic fuck up, but managed to s decided to in his thirties destroy the little bit of rep of um you know good. His reputation and oh, no, infiltrate a gaming company and then take over a game that was getting Tell fucked up. And, if they seem worth being and, I do sincerely hope they and are. being told <laughs> and essentially um, took over the company slowly by being a fucking genius and taking massive risks. A person that has pulled off being polarizing correctly is Sam Hyde because you never know with Sam Hyde and yeah there's something going on with regards to Sam Hyde he's a very complex person very complex very very brilliant from being blacklisted and just turning that into massive success with fish tank but he's pulled it off in a way that looks organic probably isn't organic because he was involved in Hollywood He's exploitive, extremely exploitive. I am kind of um, pissed off that I haven't seen my fever dream of an interview with um, on. Yes, he is interesting. He also promotes um, testosterone, which I promote as there is a direct correlation with testosterone levels in men and And it's not good. If you look at test, we look, like we measure shit in Australia. For instance, bone mineral density is measured. If you are a 28-year-old man, they test you with a like five foot five. 35 year old woman and and like it, it, everything is just a, an absolute mess and l what is considered to be normal testosterone level ranges in Australia are absolutely shockingly low 
they used to if you're an opiate addict you should definitely get on TRT if you can in America because if you're on methadone any of that shit your you, your testosterone is gone it's fucking destroyed annihilated it suppresses 90% of your testosterone after just one dose let alone months on it Opiates completely fucked up my testosterone levels way back when I was a heavy, heavy morphine addict. And I went on TRT and then stopped. And my testosterone levels, natural testosterone levels, became very high after. However, I heard working out will increase it. Avoiding soy, soy definitely is, will f increase your levels of estrogen and testosterone. The only way to increase it is to get is to um, get a intramuscular injection needle get sustenon 250 or testosterone enanthate and inject it into your muscle along with a aromatized inhibitor maybe once a week at most to stop the uh, with the injection to stop the conversion of testosterone into estrogen without crashing your estrogen you need estrogen too you actually do otherwise you you're going to develop osteo problems you need estrogen to get an erection too so you don't want to get rid of it completely I would re Sam Hyde's transformation from being is, is a direct result of TRT except Sam Hyde is using high levels of testosterone way above what you're supposed to I can tell because of the changes in him he's gained a lot of and he's a big guy hmm. yeah look mine is mine went to shit I got when I got off everything it was fine however I was unable to gain weight eat and having horrendous problems and it was due to issues related to my time overseas with regards to my autoimmune system getting destroyed in Central slash South Asia by getting every <sighs> fucking know, virus it? and malaria and shingles and almost Only dying. The graves, it all seems. All right, let's go find Very her. Well. Let me sing. And the only thing that actually has made me able to not die from essentially l horrendous weight loss nothing I can do about it I still can't gain weight essentially um, was not actually well it was testosterone technically but it was anavar which is a dihydrotestosterone and yeah it it, it is it has many testosterone and anabolics have a medical purpose that have been utilized for a long time they stopped prescribing it in Australia because of um, you know uh, the endocrinologists shit absolutely hate masculinity I c I'm not saying that in a polarizing way I'm saying even if you need it I've been told to get fucked because I wasted their time for being male <laughs> by one endocrinologist I'm not kidding it's a fucking joke here man and a disgrace but they've taken them all off the market 
you can only get if if you want to get legally prescribed testosterone, you have to actually go through illicit organization. Uh, go through sports scientist centers and spend shitloads of money and go on subscriptions for thousands of dollars a year. But it's not just testosterone that they prescribe you legally. And it's all done in a way to be a fucking tax write-up. Money up front, this is how... This is all what all the athletes do, and... Yeah, uh, so... Given that... I don't want to do it that way, and it's too expensive, I don't have the money. Private scripts, you, you can't get that shit for tests anymore. Trying to get, even if you've had previous prescriptions, and even if you need it medically, they won't give it to you here. Unless you're a woman, then they'll give it to you. Because they want you, they want men to have low testosterone levels. It makes you aggressive. You know what roid rage actually is? Roid rage is when somebody on a shitload of anabolic steroids, not just testosterone, but ones that increase your levels of progesterone and other... It's when they fuck up and their estrogen levels get too high. Because men on a shitload of estrogen by accident... Well... I'm gonna put this in the most basic, simplistic terms. Imagine a man having... A man who is huge anabolic steroids kind of guy. Imagine he is having his menstrual cycle suddenly. And he's taking clenbuterol, which is has all the effects of methamphetamine that are negative and none of the positives. It's a and clenbuterol is 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 horrible. I don't know why anybody takes it. It's a, and, um, and they're on fucking ephedrine, they're on, on, um, and they're the most chill guys. It's the ones that are, road rage is, is when somebody fucks up and they have too high levels of progesterone and too high levels of estrogen. But to do that, you have to really fuck up. I'm endorsing TRT because and anabolics because they're better form of rehabilitation than narcotics. It will, it, it, yeah, uh, and it calms you the fuck down. It helps with your neurochemistry too as a man and with all the injuries I have autoimmune problems I have testosterone essentially uh, just keeps me not needing as much shit and it enables me to eat and not get as violently sick constantly from having a compromised immune system. I bounce back. So I'd rather take a little bit of testosterone and maybe some Masteron and an aromatized inhibitor and avoid being violently sick for months and months at a time every time I get a virus then having and also to rehabilitate being able to use my arm again and things like that than taking shitloads of um, amphetamines uh, shitloads of opiates and all the trash they sell 
So yeah, if you have, and the most chilled out guys I've ever met were bodybuilders who were taking, to put it this way, I if I'm doing test, I'm taking about 250 milligrams of testosterone a week. Up, um, and that's about it. Which is... For me, it works well for me. So, bodybuilders are usually taking 1,500 milligrams of test a week with 500 milligrams of decadiandrol and like 400 milligrams of trenbolone acetate along with fucking um, Dianabol, Anavar 50s, human growth hormone, selective estrogen receptor modulators. So it's very modest. The TRT level shit. And if you're American, you can actually just get that shit. Legally, you don't have to fuck around. No! I need that item. I have to do the trick of, of opening and closing the game. Thank you, Hidetaka Miyazaki. Brilliant game design. But yeah, um, come move to the States. Hormone therapy is down near civil right over here. Get, I can't gain weight. I can't fucking gain weight, man. Even unless I'm ta uh, if look, if somebody was to give me a shitload of money and put the time aside, I I could go right to the and and take bodybuilding doses of test and everything else, right? And I'll gain weight. The thing is though, as soon as I drop down to a TRT dose, or to no testosterone, I will not be able to maintain that weight, and then, bang, I will be 68 kilograms, or, or what, uh, to 64 kilograms at 6 foot 4, for fuck's sake. So, I'm better off on enough to function, but not enough where I can't maintain that weight on nothing. So I have to stay skinny. I'm sorry, lads. I can't, I can't. And also, I'm in my fucking 30s, and I went back to the gym to rehabilitate my right arm and my back, and I need to go back to the gym again to further rehabilitate injuries. It's been taking four fucking years, but I'm getting there. However... Alright, we're gonna find a doll in real life, which is... She's... There, and I fucked it up. I have to drop down. I'll do it. Yay, more insight. Don't die. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Yes. Well, she kind of is a Babylon type figure. Someone with autism in Japan spent the time to recreate her face, and that makes me, which is what my character is, you know, plain doll. I don't even remember, man. <laughs> I actually do have a fever. Caspian and anybody in my audience, majority of them are, are fish, fish tank um, people. Have any of you seen my interview with uh, Scott Sullivan 
from fish tank because I was on so much fucking cough syrup. I I, I was on a lot of lean because I had to be. I was so sick in that fucking interview. And I haven't seen it because it was published on his Patreon. And uh, I want to know whether he edited it in a way of in which I need to start ship or not. Because of course I have the entire interview myself. But he seems like a really genuine guy. However, it's it's on a paywall on his Patreon, and I'm I can't be fucked giving someone money to watch people laugh at me, you know. I'm I don't I don't get off to humiliation. That's not my deal. Not sure if it is that. N not. He better not have taken it w out of context when I said a, a certain word that's naughty. When trying to explain... Yeah, so I, I haven't watched... I've watched a bit of the interview in that... In... You know... The straight recording, but... I told him that he he may have look I told him that Yeah yeah I'm in such bad shape in that fucking interview because I I've I've that was before I decided to go on TRT again. I was violently sick for more than nine weeks at that point. And with COVID and getting secondary complications over and over again and on a lot of lean and I have contacts that will get angry at me if anything is not said correctly so I have to tell him that I, I, I'm not gonna water anything down because the night they're not gonna like it if I try and use, you know, hey, homework sucks, I killed the fucking, I talked about you before, um, because you, you were stuck on the beast that I killed, yeah, thank you for showing up, you know, you got stuck for a month on the, um, what's it called, the poisoned beast, that made you quit by born I just I incinerated it with a flamethrower in like two seconds yeah also homework I'm sorry I showed you th that fucking horrible thing I just felt it yeah I burnt him to death in the same way I'm gonna do with this little guy these guys uh... Oh shit. No, 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 don't, motherfucker. Burn. No, fuck you! Don't steal my insight! No! It steals your insight, literally. No, I'm becoming stupider. Fuck you. Oh, well, at least I've got my first arcane gen for my pure arcane build. But yeah, I'm sorry I showed you that fucking um, account homework. I know, I know. That shit, that... That, so, that was a Asian pedophile ring. They're worse, far, far worse. What they do is they actually stalk you in, in real life by having people from your school f 
follow you for on behalf of the pedophiles to force you to kill yourself because in certain places in Korea and Japan they have very very small in the sense of you know it's easy once you got that person's IP to blackmail these poor girls into literally killing themselves no, 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 764 are, are, they wish they were these Asian ones. This is multiple separate groups I'm talking about. I don't know who Mr. Metocure is, but yeah, 7, 764 are nothing compared to this disgusting networks in Asia who do this shit and act and um, on a scale that is unbelievable because they have access to they've been doing this for a very very long time but yeah that video is from an Asian network and because I know about every fucking organization and group and uh, I don't want to fucking know anything. <laughs> he becomes a normie. You do. You you without insight in this game. Well, you're an opfa. But I've got madman's knowledge. Now this is like the methamphetamine of the game. It's so this is for the American occult scene. This is for the Russian and Eastern European cult scene. I'm not gonna say who that's for. I'm kidding, um her this joke. That's f for China. What are they called? There's multiple. Um I'm not gonna s fucking. They've mastered this in specifically in South Korea and because South Korea is significantly smaller than Japan and naturally China, so it's much easier to find somebody. They do this, um, it's been harassed by a stream who has some connections. Seven six four hacked every single one of my fucking accounts uh, for over three months hacking campaign after I made a video. And uh, they may have made my they almost got me banned permanently from YouTube they almost got me banned on everything mm. oh, all of I there's a I use video games as a way to gather intelligence on other countries it's a novel way. For instance, um, in China, you can't play video games in China. Even you can't use a VPN to get into China, right? So, if you want to talk to Chinese people and get information about what's going on in, say, Beijing or Shanghai, without going there, how do you do it when they have locked? have made it impossible for you to even get access to playing a video game in their fucking country. I'll tell you how you do it. I'm sorry if you don't know Mandarin. If you can't... You use a, a nice piece of software I'm going to drag onto the other screen for a second so you can see it. 
I'm gonna show you my secret of how I infiltrated China because I thought it was funny to watch lots of to oh it's interesting I am um, you use UU booster you have to pay though this software allows me is used by people in China to play video games on servers that are outside of China. I use it to play in China. And you want to know the, the, the eldritch fucking truth? Because you can't use VPNs for this shit. You have to use this. This is the only software that works. It's all in fucking Mandarin, so good luck. Well, just because you maybe work in China doesn't mean you actually experience a place. It, you, you booster. It's now all the games are in Chinese. They don't have English, of course, supported. I know ways to. F f I know a little bit of Chinese. I was learning it because I, I got so sick of dealing with... I thought, I live close to China. I'm sick of dealing with almost getting killed constantly and... Um, if I, 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 I... Fuck trying to do things independently. Fuck YouTube. I'm getting nothing but pedophile networks harassing me constantly because I pissed them off. So, I thought, fuck it, I'll learn Chinese and I'll go to China and focus there because that won't be dangerous that won't get me fucking killed no it would cause an international incident I, I would say if I haven't already been involved in one and nobody gave a shit anyway but yeah it's People in China have more fucking fun than people in Australia. The, like, so I use WeChat because it auto translates for me, and um, I play games in China sometimes to talk to no normal because look in China you're banned from playing video games for more than I think two hours a day if you're under 19 years of age so on Friday nights I'm only a couple of hours ahead of China in with regards to Chinese time zone so what I do is sometimes on a Friday night I'll play certain games and chat with guys in their 30s who are civil servants in Beijing and work in with um, company like wine companies and stuff like that I can't give away who these fucking people are but and they usually uh, and it's less it, it's totalitarian but at the same time I was pleasantly surprised. I'm, I've not been paid off by fucking Xi Jinping spooks to promote. But China was far... At least they were having fun and... I don't know what my civil servant spooks may have been doing other than getting drunk and playing Mahjong when they weren't playing a fucking video game and whatever you do if you're American they might not like or respond to you well they don't like Australia very much for good reason because Australia gets all hysterical over China because Australia is full of pussies but you know if 
they love Russia, they love Serbia, they love um, other cool places that I have links to. Do I speak Mandarin? Mm, I did a little bit, but not well. Enough to be able to essentially tell them to get WeChat and yeah, I can read a bit of Mandarin, I c I'm terrible at it though. Welcome, what is it? Without... Very well. Prompts right now, I would... For some reason it seems only Arabic. I can read French, but my pronunciation of French is absolutely terrible. My Arabic is good, but Arabic has been fucked up every other language I've tried to learn. Well, <laughs> what is it, you? Very well, let me. 30 arcane. Well, usually I just say to them, you know, uh. Wo'ani, Wo'ani. And their name, which which essentially is just me saying I love, uh, uh, you know, I love you to thirty-five-year-old Chinese guys, chain smoking. And I think it's funny. While while they're playing anime girls in video games. And they find you interesting because they don't get to talk to outsiders. Because even... I don't know Gino Samuel. I don't give a fuck about Christian or any of that shit. Jacob Sarkness is interesting. And I like Jacob Sarkness as a person. And I think that it's impressive that he's managed to pull off... Shit he's pulled off. And create an entire occult system. However... Yeah, ni hao ma. How are you? Hi, how are you? Pronounce... <laughs> I know. You, ju you probably jumped on because you thought this was a Sockness stream because last time I used this software it fucked everything up. Every time I try and stream with Jacob Sockness everything goes wrong. It's interesting. I need to get in contact with him again it's just uh, I have so much sh shit going on and other things. But, as libertine as, as Chris Chan is, by fucking his own mother, like, I don't, he's, I don't give a shit about Chris Chan <laughs> at all. I wanted him to stay in prison purely because I I, I don't I don't want to hear about his fucking life anymore. So I have no idea what's going on with um any of that shit, and I never will. But yeah, at, at the moment, there's all sorts of novel ways to get information. Yeah, I saw th I saw that, but uh, and he does he did give me some interesting information about some fish tank set up and Chris Chan being off his fucking face on magic mushrooms in these streams because whoever his fucking people are are dosing him up or or giving him insight. Fuck, I hate psilocybin. 
Yeah, Hemlock. Um, by the way, I can let you know about those networks and how I know about them. I'm just sick and trying not to. But yeah, Hemlock sucks is cool. Follow, follow him. He, he, um, he investigates a lot of stuff, and he is a very patient and interesting person enigmatic not uh, easily swayed by uh, not an arrogant prick like the majority of people on the internet <laughs> when I'm better I will contact you properly homework I wasn't even going to, you know, stream. Is that what it is? I, so, because I was calling things the incest saga. I'm very suspicious of Gino Samuel. Mm. Yeah. Essentially, Jacob Sorkin has brought up something legitimately relevant to the shit I am good at and legitimately interesting and I need to get back to him on it which is the entire is his his curiosity on If it was, he wouldn't have spent any time in prison because they would have rape tested her. Most likely because of how fucking insane he is. They dropped the charges due to it just being a massive fuck around. I don't know, I don't care. I just made one fucking video about him being possessed by demons. <laughs> before that happened and yeah yeah I don't know man they wouldn't have held him in jail if there was no evidence hmm. well I was using that as a metaphorical example as the archetypal demon Quran's on to try and use a pop culture figure to explain to people that have no interest in the occult yeah But Sarkin's had some pretty interesting things to s he wanted me to look into, but I just uh, don't have time. Co-op! Shinobu, did I play with you earlier? I... I... Uh, uh, did you play with somebody whom... Okay, the little girl's not back yet. The second one, I'm... I, I would love to co-op this with people. It's just... It would mean uh, people knowing my PlayStation ID. We, we can co-op.
Shinobu, hold on a sec, let's call up. I, I would love to... Um, how do I... Can I... Pro, let's see your channel. Can I message you? Message me, Shinobu. Yeah. How do we... I forgot how fucking co-op works in this game. I can't summon sign. Let's see. Where are you, Shinobu? Yeah, like, um, whereabouts are you in the game? I'm... Very early on. Yeah, yeah, I've got... I'm I'm only here because I was checking on the girl. I already sent her to Sofka's clinic because I know my audience would approve of that. Let me just get the fuck out of here so I can go to where I need to be. No, I've already killed the I've already killed um what's his name? Gascoigne and stuff. I need to I'm up to... I've just done Old Yarnum. So... Uh, I'm... Essentially going to go... Uh, I'm tr I need to go to the workshop. I need a cathedral board. That's, that's it. That's what I'm up to. How do I... So yeah, I will... I need to find a doll in real life. As in, real life in the game. Jesus, that sounded autistic. Yeah, if anybody um, finds out with regards to that interview I did on the Order of Nine Angles with Scott Sullivan, if he edited it in a way of which is not within our agreement with him, which was to leave it uncensored and only fix it up in a way where, you know, the quality is good, because um, I will not engage in interviews with many people and I don't give a shit if his audience is mocking me I, d I don't fucking care if he censored everything and make my situation more difficult by making it look like I'm trying to water down the ONA. Well then, yeah, he, he, he voided our agreement. I want to know at some point. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me... But I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Farewell, strange schizophrenic um, mixture of, of subject matters that goes on from this YouTube channel. It's absolutely bizarre. <laughs> I like that though. Uh, 
But yeah, today has been more of a test stream to see if it would actually work. So, from what I know, how's it? Because I, I actually legitimately am sick. I'm in a fucking fever dream at the moment. Which is why uh, I have not gone into the uh, esotericism as much as I would like. However, it would be nice to know how the quality is with regards to, you know, sound quality, video quality. Because, yeah, I've never done this before. I had to fuck around with a lot of things to set this up. And it's not just, um... Oh shit, there it is. It's not just... Me wanting to... Play... PlayStation games and stream them and... See who shows up and talk about things, it's... For other purposes too. Because I'm realizing you can pull off a lot of things. In this game, there's runes, which are. I think somebody put out the theory uh, they're based on certain tarot cards, which might be true. I know. They get clearer. It's similar to the Golden Dawn's. Uh, um, astral travel methods where you utilize a symbol of um, McGurga's Mathers of the Golden Dawn did this with a famous poet in the Golden Dawn called um, William Butler Yeats I believe where he got the elemental symbol for fire and told him to look at it and project it on uh, until it was burnt into his mind and to project that image of f the symbol for the element of fire onto a wall and then imagine yourself walking through it something like that and he got an intense psychedelic experience from that that's how simple magic can be. Colin Wilson actually wrote something interesting on his books on the occult. I thoroughly... somebody nobody seems to talk about or know much about. Magic works like turning on a light switch. It does. It, it actually it does. It's like depending. It's very interesting. Um, context. We're all s spooks. Yes, we are. Um, Shinobu, still waiting on me. Um, I'm just... I'm trying to remember if things get fucked up if I kill the cleric not cleric, if I kill the, um, yeah, cleric beast, if that fucks things up in the game progression. How, uh, if I don't... Oh, who gives a shit? What I'll do is, I'm just very quickly going to the workshop. to get the doll because I'm cosplaying as her and then I'll kill the cleric beast with you if you're still around anybody that is not familiar with my work I'm not a hashtag pro game streamer I'm using this did I just fuck it up again or is it 
there is a jump. I need it, that's where I need to go. And I fucked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm cosplaying as a doll. Yeah, uh, pro. Look, look, I can do this shit, and this is a front for my terrorist organization that I am running, involved in multiple intelligence organizations. And a lot of the people, the reason it's hard to know what's going on in my chat is because if you're not aware of every element of this secret encoded organization that has been hidden, created by David Myatt himself as a secondary clandestine, Order of Nine Angles. Alright, that's how I do it. I have to take the plunge. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Fuck you. I need to get to the doll. <laughs> Caspian, I didn't know you were a Christorian. Uh, I, I, I can never escape it. James Joyce, you know, history is a nightmare I am trying to escape from. Christory is a fucking nightmare I am trying to escape from. Has ha, Have you been accused of being Maya yet, Caspian? See, I'm, I've never been accused of being David Maya. And uh, my ego has been hurt. I was actually going to read some things, but I'll save that for next time. But I will do it justice. Maya did me a big favor regarding information on Combat 18 and how a British the history of the organization and some other people helped explain the how the fuck certain elements remnants of them ended up in a certain part of Australia that I had to deal with and things got cleared up a lot with that without in any way implicating anybody so, I do need to do a, a deconstruction of that. And... You'd be surprised, but I think... Uh, it's become an uh, industry. Fantastic, I've got my doll outfit. It's pure insight. Alright. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship. Yay! <laughs> when 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 the time comes, <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. Uh, Fuck, I'm never going to be able to escape Christory. 
Uh, okay, so Bordens or Mania, yeah, the dollars essentially. There, uh, thank you, autistic Japanese person that spent a very long time trying to make the face actually look like the doll. Now I'm cosplaying as a sacred virgin, sacred whore, and elderich horror from another reality. So another, uh, and you're in a no, right? Yes, I am. This is this is my grave, or this is the fucking where, where's. First arcane tool with magic. Old hunter whose name is lost said to apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening. Quickening, it's in particularly the first hunters. The bullets in this game are made of, you know, mercury and, and urine blood. Essentially, um, I think. Urine blood, if you. This is the bone of the woman that the doll is based on. It's also a magical item. Watch. You see? Fuck yeah. Pure insight. 100% my approved. I'm gonna be invading with my sinister bell. Somebody has to fucking use this to try and bait Hanrahan. Somebody has to. Hey, do you know anything about what the CIA was doing in Kosovo or Bosnia? Yes, I do. Um, has Clo... Hold on a second. Um, I had a close family member there during the 90s. What a time. What a time to bring that up. <laughs> he told me a, a dip, dip, the CIA, well, the OSS go back to um, Serbia, World War Two. Same with MI6. But the CIA have declassified hundreds of documents of the during the breakup of Yugoslavia, which was inevitable, but fuck, what a thing to bring up. Essentially. It's... Technically, not my grandfather, but my... Someone in my grandfather's family. And they didn't... This, the war started in... Uh, the Austro-Hungarian Empire in Serbia. <laughs> Essentially, it was going to happen anyway because they wanted to put a pipeline through fucking Serbia. Sound familiar? History just fucking repeats itself and the story remains the same and it just happens again and again and again. Everything is a cycle. cross-transfer history and how it operates, cross-transfer the natural world and how that operates, then you know how reality operates. The same shit happens again and again. But... Fuck, man. Um, that's a subject I'll have to save for another time. I'm in a f bit of a fever dream, and... 
that is something that is very much what I'd like to talk about. There I am. In, that's an important item in this game. You, you need to collect three of these umbilical cord, cords. Cord of the eye. Every infant great one has a this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight, don't, don't use it. You need them, you need them to get the right ending. So they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. The, the Lovecraftian storytelling through item descriptions and very little dialogue in these games is fucking amazing. And I uh, even... And all... Secret symbol left by Sir Runesmith of Bergenworth. Several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials. On it. Represents the healing church and its ministries. Blood ministration is, of course, a pursuit of communion. Time is cyclical, as above, so below. Yes, hermeticism. Fuck Franz Ferdinand, I'm glad that my... Grandfather's half-brother, whatever the fuck he was. Utilized a military secret society intelligence network from Serbia, knowing they're going to be invaded by a foreign power decided to do the most based thing in history and pretend to be a communist to get a bunch of communist useful idiots to go and get killed killing Franz Ferdinand for the dictatorship of the proletariat and instead they all fuck it all up and then you go oh for fuck's sake because you're Serbian and you know what you're doing because we're the best people in the world at killing. <laughs> anyway, he then goes, okay, I'll have to do it myself, and then pop, pop, pop. Alvita Zane, Franz Ferdinand, and your fucking wife, goodbye, also Hungarian Empire. Goodbye Ottoman Empire too. No pipeline through Serbia. We're going to be blamed and hated for everything for the next thousand years probably, but fuck. We did leave our message with that. And yeah, I've I beat the game. I've put like a thousand hours into this to come off morphine. An abandoned dog. So what I will do... I, I am shocked that this has uh, worked, is... Uh, the World War One was just mass human sacrifice of working class males by... orchestrated by three royal families, all cousins, the German... the fucking... head of the... whatever it's called, I'm sick, I can't be fucked, um... VMR, whatever the fuck. The British King, I forget. I <laughs> and um, yeah, they just they needed to get. They saw what happened, seeing what's happening in Russia, so they needed to work out what to do with all of these young men after the Industrial Revolution that are going to have no work. So they decided to just create a meat grinder and get as many killed as humanly possible. And you know what's lovely about the poppy? You know, like the Anzacs and everything? Well, a poppy is just a bullet hole. So you're wearing a little thing 
on a little poppy flower, um, and it's opium too, it's heroin, but you know, the cause of the majority of wars for the past 2,000 years, but you know, other than Christianity. But yeah, you're wearing a opium poppy flower that looks like a bullet hole. It was a mass human sacrifice, and then they kept the survivors there for as long as humanly possible, Churchill and that, because they didn't want to bring them back to the UK. Because they've got all these fighting age males that know how to kill and survive World War One, And their country and economies are in ruin. But yeah, it was essentially to keep the aristocrats in place ma and they uh, blaming my relative Gavileo Princip for World War One is like blaming they were going to in the Austro-Hungarian Empire was going to invade Serbia anyway that's why they made a stance the military intelligence Black Hand Society in Serbia went into Austro-Hungarian territory, Sarajevo, Bosnia, now, and fucking blew Franz Ferdinand and his bitch wife away because they were going to be invaded anyway and to make a fucking point to the rest of the world, don't fuck with us, we'll kill you. We won't kill you, we will go and we will kill your fucking heir of your bloodline. He is a bit of a hero in Serbia. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is definitely written by someone with sexual inadequacy problems. And repression. It's funny that... Oh. But yeah, the person who brought up the question of CIA involvement in the breakup of Yugoslavia and the situation in Kosovo, fuck yeah, CIA involvement. But most of it is, is really pathetic and stupid and disgusting. Alright, I'll kill the cleric beast and then I'll jump off. This has been a good experiment. Welcome. Oh yeah, better give... Let's try and make her... Shinobu. I, f I f feel for anybody that has no context of me. What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something... I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? <sighs> Thank you. Welcome home, good Hunter. What is it you desire? Over time, it... Very well. Okay. I will, I will play with, I will um, summon you in Cathedral Ward and then I'll have to jump off. Yes, Cleric Beast. There are more parties at play than just George Soros. The real master, and I have respect, even though he's a war, war criminal, is um, Henry Kissinger. Absolute master, master in international politics. 
one second. Um, Um, I have to jump off in a second. I will try and summon you to kill the cleric beast. Kissinger isn't a neocon. Kissinger is what's called a realist in international relations political theory. He's a genius. As somebody that has is a war criminal. Where's the bell? Can't use it yet. Hold on a second. As somebody that's also a realist in international relations political theory, I respect his um, maneuverability he's Machiavellian he's a war criminal and being responsible directly or essentially for so many things <laughs> However, you gotta give the guy credit for his um, unique ability to maneuver the way he did whilst being a public figure. I don't agree, but on an intellectual level I do respect what he pulled off. I uh, hold on a sec. Um. I doubt I'll be able to go through the whole thing because I'm in a, a fucking fever dream but I will summon you and well, I can't um, either get it prescribed, it's a Schedule 4, so any GP can prescribe it if you've got one that can do so. Only do it if you legitimately need it, which you will over the age of 35 anyway most likely, but still, if not, um, uh, I can't say for legal reasons how else to get it. Unless you go to a, a sports scientist. Uh, <laughs> but there. There she is. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn hmm. you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. What I'll do... And he's my mark. ...is summon you... Don't go near the... I have... And then I'll have to jump off because I'm, I'm too Don't sick. Don't go near the tomb I below will... Erden Chapel in the... I have business there first. 
yeah. But yeah. Don't go near the tomb below. I am. <laughs> what I will do is just. I'll make things. I'm not using a password. I'm just going to use the beckoning bell and then jump off if I summon you after a couple minutes. Because. It is. a good idea to. promote my audience. I mean, he all. Yeah, Kissinger is a very interesting Machiavellian figure. Uh, I've, uh, Billy, I uh, wish I could tell you. Thank you. There's a lot of other subjects you should go to. Oh, oh shit, oh boy, this guy. I just sort of did this as a test s stream. As I am. Uh, quite unwell at the moment but the next one I do <clears throat> okay Alright, so that's that's the password. O N A. If I become a, a f Asmongold, f fuck it, I would do it. The uh, amount of shit I go through half the time. Um, it's O and A, as in um, you're on YouTube, right? Uh, um, just the letter O. The letter N and the letter A. I'll put it in chat. O and A. That's 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 the password. It's very subtle. It's not a reference to anything. Don't look it up. So I'm. Um, I'll stand here, maybe I've got the beckoning bell going. Uh, pro Pro game streamer sell out. <laughs> Yeah, where's... Well, I'm in... Australia. I assume you're a beautiful anime girl... in Japan. So we shouldn't be too far off time zone-wise. You're you're a, you're a supporting character of the Demon Slayer. Oh fuck! Oh 
Yeah. I'm Lord Wolf. Are you? Oh shit. <laughs> well, shit. When I'm lucid again. We have to screenshot shit fuck in this game and get it sent to journalists. Oh Jesus Christ, I am just becoming a fucking Nexion. Order of Ninth, let's see it. <laughs> fucking with journalists. No, I'm doing it for personal reasons because it's funny, not 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 to serve any higher purpose other than my own amusement and others. Looks like I'll have to summon you another time because I'm too sick. But someone might have to screenshot all the things that say sinister in this game, like the sinister bell and the other shit. Oh fuck, I just walked in here. Uh, Alright, I gotta go. But yeah, s screenshotting descriptions of things and send them to a, a certain few journalists in the United Kingdom. And that would be good f for a laugh. And that this game is used to create Nexions since 2015 anyway I will come back soon I'm glad everything worked I'm surprised everything worked and thank everybody for participating and watching sorry this was a fever dream stream rather than the others which are far more esoteric and also intelligence service orientated but it's been fun it was worth a try and I have a lot of different things that I've got going on at the moment and I appreciate everybody participating and Yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> you too. Thank you, hopefully. Um, yeah, I've... Thank you. I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Regards, IA.